I'm Chana G from Germany. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to episode one of the White Couch Music Interviews, um, where we take different musicians from the Berlin area and talk about their life story and how they got started in music. Today I have Charlotte Gieres with me, and um, Charlotte is a German musician and she has one album out and is releasing uh, hopefully an album next year yes, yeah, yeah. and a single this year yeah hopefully cool yeah let's talk about your life story like where did you grow up in Berlin or did yeah. you grow up in like a different <laughs> area in Germany I grew up in a different place nobody will know it's called Detmold it's really small not even everyone in Germany knows where it is I started my music career with classical music. Classical music, okay, yeah. like piano or <laughs> no, with a violin. Violin. Yes, I played so you're like for nineteen years. Classically trained violin player. Yes. Wow, that's really really cool. <laughs> I decided to move out of Detmold because I mean it's so too small for music, and I really wanted to go to Berlin, but I also was a little bit afraid of Berlin, so I thought maybe that's like the step is too big, like going mm. to this city. Mm -hmm. And so I went to Munich. <laughs> so you went to Munich and then... <laughs> and I went to Munich, yeah. You start, so were you, did you start your songwriting career there and like start writing music and playing yes. shows and things? Yeah, I started like, I started like searching through the internet for like bands, for studios and I did like everything. I went everywhere where I could go for music and uh, through that I met my... Um, a singing teacher and and she helped me really to come into this music scene in, in Munich and she encouraged me more to play um, uh, more to write my songs myself and the funny thing was like the first time we met she said like what's your goal in music and I was like like um, that time I, no that <laughs> time I wasn't like, like okay. that anymore because I thought maybe that's not the goal of my music I right. just want to write songs and everything. Right. And she looked at me and said, okay, my dream was always winning a Grammy. You should go for bigger aims. <laughs> like, okay, maybe I go back to my bigger aims again. But no matter what, I was in Munich and then I decided, okay, I don't, I need something more big. This doesn't work like I want it. Hmm. And so I decided to go to New York. Okay. do my music well, in New okay. York. And so, so you I made a full switch from Munich to New York. Yeah. And at this point you were doing music full time. Yes, Completely pretty full time. Much. Yeah. And so you packed your bags, moved to New York. Yes, because I thought it's a good idea for. Because I read, Did you go to I read that right Mariah away? Carey got started there, and I thought like, okay, then I go no, it's, there. It's admirable, like so, just packing your bags. Like you have to make those really big steps to get different outcomes all the yeah, time. Yeah, so, yeah. How long were you in New York for? Oh, it wasn't that long. It was like a few months. Or? It wasn't even a few months. It was okay. like two months at the end. Okay, yeah. so so short. Stint. It was like really just trying something. I yeah. don't know, just right. trying. Tea time. Yeah, cheers, guys. But I've yeah. heard a lot about crowdfunding and how it's really good for up and coming musicians to fund yes. albums. So I've been thinking about doing it. I'm not sure how to approach it. So, how did you approach the crowdfunding? Like, because you're basically saying, can I, have, can I have money? Yeah, it's really right, like this. I was like really scared. Because I'm always, you know, the thing is, I love the, um, the stage, I love going out and singing to people. But I'm also, on the other hand, kind of a, I don't want to say shy person, but I'm obviously not shy, but <laughs> something like yeah. more, I'm not a person who would back some, back some or, or ask for something. I'm, right. does it make yeah. sense? Because I'm knocking on the door of everyone all the time to try to, to push my music. But I'm on the other hand, I'm, I'm always, always afraid doing it. It's yeah. like always really struggle and when you grow older and older it gets my in my opinion it gets uh harder to do it it gets harder it's like more struggle to do it mm -hmm. and so with the start next project i mean i was really running out of money and i needed the money for the album right so right. it was the only way to get my album out so you had so you started this crowdfunding site did you email your friends and family first and say put 10 bucks in here or um, how did when, you get people to contribute like um i started like on the start next or i think on any platform for crowdfunding i recorded a video where i presented myself okay and i did it with a friend who is a video how you say it Who's videographer it? videographer like a, yeah. yeah yeah so that was really cool my brother helped me to cut the video 
and there I presented myself. What would you say for like advice for up and coming musicians? Like, what is the minimum amount they should spend to make something that is like, good enough or like quality that you could hear on the radio? Like, let's say, let's talk euros. So, like, is it 2,000 euros or 5,000 euros or 10,000 euros? Like, where should a, a new musician, what should they spend on their first EP, do you think? Well, I'm not even sure right now if you should do an EP at, at all at the moment because I really wanted to have an album out so I went, I really pushed this album because I wanted it so much but in, in the times of Spotify and YouTube, even like more Spotify and music streaming, I think it's already good to have one song out that's really good. <laughs> it's, like, it's like an interview with the Queen. Hi. Yes, it's very, like you were saying before the interview, kind of non-German style. We should be drinking... Non-German style and non style. should be drinking uh, Pilsners. What would you recommend to, to do. a new musician in Berlin? Um, how, how would they get a concert? Okay, go to every open stage you can find. <laughs> and there you will meet a lot of other musicians and they will give you recommendations. And um, and you also will find out that in most places where you can um, play open stages, you can also book your own shows. Mm. So that's, right. that's my recommendation. <laughs> yeah, that would be mine too. Yeah. Just go to tons and tons of open mics and you yeah. meet a tons of people. That's where we that, met. Yeah, that's how we met. So <laughs> you're, you are going to play a song for us. Yes, we're going to play so a song for you. So what, um, is this a song, a new song you've written or is it on your last album? What, what do you think you, you, you'll play? It's on, the, it's on the last album. This song, uh, what is it called that you're going to play? I don't know yet. I have to think about it. Give so me your second. We'll keep you in suspense then. But Charlotte's going to play a song. Um, that's what we do at the White Couch Music Interviews. Um, we get to hear the Berlin musician's life story and how they got into music and then um, they're going to play some of their music for us. So here is Charlotte's song. I'm Charlotte Giers and I'm now playing my song five seconds, like five seconds in German. <laughs>
Cool. Awesome. Did you see it? It always gets you.